Yeah, definitely a really good win. I mean, looking before the game today, it's definitely a game we needed to win. We couldn't underestimate them because obviously they can produce little bits of magic like they did for the goal, but I felt like we played well, to be fair. Obviously, had a little dip in the first half, but really big win. Those are two good goals, and yeah, really happy with it. Steve Cooper told us that he thought in the first half, maybe that first half an hour, it's some of the, the best stuff you've played under him, and you've played some really good stuff under him, so that's some compliment, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, at home especially, we haven't started that well, so we had a real emphasis to start start the game well. Uh, I thought we did that. We played some good football, had some good passages of play. I think we could have definitely taken the lead, but um, obviously when you don't, it's always a level game and they can obviously take the lead, so we just had to react from it. I was going to say, how difficult is it in that situation, in a, in a game like that, where you've, you have utterly dominated for half an hour, you've got yourselves into some great positions, then there's the positional reshuffle you have to do and yeah. suddenly you find yourselves a goal down. How difficult is it to sort of keep going, if you like, at that point? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, it's definitely frustrating when you play well, but we've had to do it before, come from behind. But today it was a bit different. I felt like, obviously, we went one man um, a goal down and then we had to reshuffle. After, like, five to ten minutes, we just had to kind of regain a bit of composure, but then once we got our, our flow again with four at the back, I thought we started playing some good stuff again and definitely deserved the win. And we've talked a lot with various players and, and with the, the head coach as well about changing formations and stuff either during games or from game to game. I suppose today it proved why you need to do that. Yeah, exactly. Today proved why we, we train, how we do. We play different formations in training just so everyone's it's natural to everyone. I feel like there's quite a few players who can do two different roles in the team, so... I feel like when everyone's comfortable playing at different roles, it just makes it easier. We don't have to have a break and play just to swap the team. But, yeah, definitely work today. And you come out in the second half and you really take the game to Hull. You get level with, with Lewis's penalty. And then talk to us about this goal because this, this goal is a bit special today, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've seen Grabs going down the line. I'm not sure where he's going to go, but then he, he got a yard of space, put in a good ball. I saw their defender was going to go ahead it, but I thought he'd miscalculated it a little bit. So I just put, peeled off. First touch of my chest was good, and then, yeah, just slotted it home. Yeah, good, and then just slotted it home. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to be understated about it, but it was a marvellous goal. It was, it was well worth winning any football match. Um, we've been talking a lot in the commentary box today as well about the spirit in that team, Brennan, because there's so much hard work that goes on as well. Yes, the goals are great, and the football, the attacking football is great, but you have to work hard off the ball as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the back four and two midfielders for the last however many games have been really solid. I mean... Sometimes when we're not firing up front like we were in the first 30 minutes, I mean, we were playing well, but just couldn't get the, the cutting edge. Um, that's where they were massive. I mean, any like, little chance they got, it kind of got put away with good defending. Obviously, they scored. But then they have a little stage on top again, and we just defended really well, which gives us the foundation to then go and attack. Yeah, and the last, the last 15 minutes or so, when you've gone in front and they're chucking balls into your penalty area, it's, it, it's solid, isn't it? Brees, I don't think it's had a save to make. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's happened quite a few times. Similar story against Peterborough, where they chuck everything out at the end, and we've just got to stand up to it. I mean, the two centre-backs and Colback playing left-back and Jed doing right-back, I felt they were really good today. Didn't have to, didn't make Bruce, make Bruce make a lot of saves, so I feel like they're a real credit at the end. How's the, the feeling in that dressing room, Brennan? I know that the head coach just wants more and more all the time, doesn't he? But three wins in a row, you go into Christmas now, a point off the playoffs, which is kind of unthinkable when he first walked through the door. I mean, how is it in the dressing room? Do you, do you have to keep your feet on the ground a little bit? Yeah, we do, just because we know where we've come from. I mean, when he, came, when he came into the club, we were bottom three and we just had to kind of look to get out of there. That was our first task. Now we're obviously doing well, seventh, one point behind the playoffs, but we've just got to take the next game. Obviously, it's a massive game against Borough. We can't look too far past that because we know this league isn't forgiven and we can be back in mid-table, almost down there, if we don't um, give every game 100%. And he told us that he wanted the, the head coach to send the Forest fans home for Christmas with a, a smile on their faces because it's a tough time out there at the moment. <clears throat> You've certainly done that today. Yeah, exactly. It is a tough time at the minute and we just wanted a, a massive performance and result today to send them home, have them, make them have a good Christmas because it's big at the minute and we'll need them throughout the season.